I don't care if his mother's pregnant. We need every hand on deck. Now! What can I do for you? I'm reporting for duty. You're a few days early, Captain. Any duty, sir. Sorry. Not much left to do but wait. But you're welcome to wait here. I've read your record, Yendo. You're a good cop. Thank you, sir. Truth is, you've been a hero of mine since I was a kid. The only thing I don't understand is how far apart we are on Batman. Then let's not talk about Batman. Of course we heard about the pipe. Of course you did. Whatever. I don't understand how you can support a vigilante. Our job is to uphold the law. No thanks. Wife made me quit the cigars. I'm sure you've heard old fossils like me talk about Pearl Harbor. Mostly we all lie, make it sound like we leapt to our feet and went after the Axis the second it happened. Truth is, we were scared stiff. Rumors were flying. We barely had an army. Hell, we were hiding in our beds with our heads under the sheets. And then we heard President Roosevelt on the radio. That voice, strong and sure, taking our fear and turning it into a fighting spirit. He's why we won that war. Years later, this report came out that Roosevelt might have known Pearl Harbor was coming and let it happen. That rattled around in my head for days. How horrible it would be if it were true. Then again, it's what got us into the war. A lot of men died. But in the end, it saved millions. I bounced back and forth like that until I realized it was too big for me to judge. He was too big. I still don't see what that has to do with Batman. Maybe one day you will. Commissioner, you better see this. <laughs> 